Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Unlike usual, today I will discuss some magical coins from several generations. I got this in an article written by Jeff Thomas on a website called internationalman.com. Please check the description to know more about the source. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that small occult elite have a big agenda that makes us always slaves to them. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. In 1796, the US issued its first quarter dollar. On the obverse, it displayed the image of Lady Liberty, and above the image, in case there was any doubt about the message, the word Liberty was prominently displayed. The coin was minted from 90% silver and 10% copper. Over the years, the design of the US quarter changed repeatedly. Then, in 1932, a new quarter was issued that featured the image of American founding father, George Washington. As before, the word liberty appeared above his image, a continuing reminder of the primary principle upon which the US was founded. And as before, the coin was minted from 90% silver and 10% copper. So far, so good. The quarter remained unchanged until 1965. The new quarter was the same in every way, except that it contained no silver whatsoever. It now contained only copper and nickel. And at today's metals prices, the intrinsic value of the quarter dropped suddenly to 1% of its previous value. Conceptually, the American people should have been outraged, as they had effectively lost the ability to hold real redeemable wealth. The coin they would hold in future would not have the value of silver, it would be a mere token. The new coin represented no more than a promise of value on the part of the US government. However, there was almost no outcry. The reason is. Because the new quarter still retained the same purchasing power it had when it was made of silver. As long as the quarter was perceived by all and sundry as having value for the purpose of payment, most Americans were content to accept the switch. In 1999, the quarter's design did change. The word liberty was removed from above the head of Washington, and in its place were the words, United States of America. It might have been argued at the time, that those words needed to be on the quarter, to remind holders of the coin what nation had issued it. However, those words had always appeared on the reverse of the Washington quarter, and I recently saw a 1999 quarter that had those words on both sides, a very odd redundancy for a coin, which, by its very size, has little space to spare, even for essential information. The word liberty was still in evidence on the new coin, but it had been moved lower down, beneath Washington's chin, and was now much smaller. It would seem, one reason for the change in design, had been to diminish the importance of liberty as an American concept. Later, when the state's quarters were issued, the mint dropped the United States of America on the reverse, and retained it on the obverse. In any case, as in 1965, there was no outcry from the American people, again, for the same reason as before. The coin retained the same purchasing power, so the change in design was simply not an issue. You may have a different slant on the subject. It may be argued that the two changes in the American quarter reflect the changes in the US as a nation. There can be no doubt that the value of US currency in general has been dramatically reduced in purchasing value since 1932. It is also true that none of the US currency, whether paper notes or metal coins, have any true redeemable value. They have only perceived value, which is subject to dramatic change, depending upon economic conditions. In the last century, the unbacked currencies of some 20 nations have been rendered valueless as a result of hyperinflations. 
Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. In 1796, when the quarter was first minted, the quarter was in itself wealth. The paper bank notes that came later, which began in 1861, were initially fiat during the war, but were quickly replaced by notes, backed by, and redeemable for, silver. The redemption of US bank notes for silver bullion ended in 1968. Today, if a US citizen seeks to build up his wealth, he cannot do so by holding the currency of his country. All US currency, whether paper or metal, only represents his faith in the currency to retain its value, which it is unquestionably losing. Therefore, merely by dealing every day in US currency, the holder is paying a hidden tax, and his wealth is diminished accordingly. As to US liberty, many would agree that that, too, has been devalued, particularly after 1999. Laws such as the Patriot Act of 2001, its expansion in 2011, and the National Defense Authorization Act of 2011, have stripped Americans of their constitutional rights on a wholesale basis. There is an old saying, that, the best place to hide something, is in plain view. If true, a reminder of what the US citizen has lost may be found in plain view, merely by reaching into his pocket and examining his change. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.